Hey what is up YouTube and in today's video I just wanted to give you guys an update on some of the new information we've received about the Saigon jailbreak. As well as that news, Apple has also seeded the third beta of iOS 11.1 to developers, and so later in this video, I'm taking a look at that as well. Now for those of you who missed my last video, the Saigon jailbreak is for iOS 10.2.1, and for at the time being, only supports the iPhone 6. In my last video, the jailbreak was only in alpha stage, meaning the jailbreak's still in its infancy and it is still considered to be a developer jailbreak. But within this last week, we have received some major updates to it. First and foremost, the jailbreak now has a beta IPA file for you to sideload the app onto your iPhone using Cydia Impactor. Now this is compared to before where you had to use Xcode to manually compile the app onto your device. Now with the beta IPA being released, I went ahead and downloaded it onto my iPhone 6 running iOS 10.2. Now unfortunately, I don't have a device running 10.2.1 to test out this jailbreak to its fullest extent, but I just wanted to see what would happen if I downloaded it on my iPhone 6 running 10.2. And while I couldn't enable the jailbreak, I actually did notice a minor update to the IPA file compared to that of the Xcode project. Now, if you have installed the Saigon app onto a device that is not supported, or onto a firmware such as 10.2 that is not supported, it will not even let you attempt to enable the jailbreak. Now, referencing my last video, when I compiled the IPA using Xcode and loaded it onto my iPhone 6, when I opened up the Saigon app, as you can see, it would actually let me attempt to enable the jailbreak running iOS 10.2. Now, at the time, I wasn't sure if this jailbreak would work on older or previous firmwares aside from 10.2.1, but as we can see in today's video, it seems to be confirmed that this jailbreak is specifically only for 10.2.1 and is specifically for the iPhone iPhone 6 currently. Now on to the second major update that the Saigon jailbreak has received. They have updated their support page to eventually support the iPhone 6s running 10.3.1. Now this is a comparison to all the other devices that only support 10.2.1. Again, when taking a look at the official website of this jailbreak, you can see that the only device and the only firmware that this jailbreak has been tested on is the iPhone 6 running iOS 10.2.1. In theory, it's supposed to support the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6S, iPhone SE, all on 10.2.1, with the exception of the iPhone 6S also being supported on 10.3.1. Anyway guys, that is a quick update on the Saigon jailbreak. Again, the two major things that have happened is the beta IPA for iOS 10.2.1 for the iPhone 6 has been released. And secondly, the Saigon jailbreak may be supporting iOS 10.3.1 for the iPhone 6 in the near future. So stay tuned and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for the Saigon jailbreak on iOS 10.3.1. I'll keep you guys fully updated on the situation as new information comes out. Again, aside from the Saigon jailbreak updates, we've also received a new software release from Apple being the third beta of iOS 11.1. With this beta update, I haven't noticed that many outward facing changes on the OS. Some users are reporting that the 3D touch lag has been fixed and that it is much more responsive. This has been an ongoing issue since some of the first betas of iOS 11, so I'm glad Apple has finally resolved this issue in the third beta of 11.1. Secondly, this third beta of iOS 11.1 also addresses the WPA2 Wi-Fi vulnerabilities that have recently been reported across the internet. This vulnerability, officially being called Crack with a K, standing for Key Reinstallation Attack, puts any person using wireless internet at risk of being hacked. This in theory could give hackers access to credit cards, passwords, emails, and other personal data. In this case, Apple has made it public that they are aware of this issue and that iOS 11.1 will be the fix for it. And just so you guys are aware, the build number is 15B5086A. So yet another substantially long build number suggesting that we might see another beta of iOS 11.1 before it is released. Anyway guys, that's a quick look on some of the updates within iOS 11.1 Beta 3. 
Stay tuned as we still have yet to see any implementation of Apple Pay through iMessages or iMessages in the cloud in any of iOS 11.1's beta updates. Rumor is Apple employees are getting an early beta testing of Apple Pay in iMessages, so it's looking very promising that we may actually receive that feature in the final release of iOS 11.1 or shortly thereafter. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, I appreciate the support. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out, and if this video helped you out, please give it a huge thumbs up. I will continue to bring you updates on the Saigon Jailbreak, as well as iOS 11 beta updates as they roll out, so stay tuned. And until next time guys, this is Tony, signing out.